South Carolina High School League has approved fall sports to begin practice on August 17th. Street Squad is breaking down the top five things you need to know. Number one, schedules would be condensed. For example, football will play seven regular season games and will only have four rounds of playoffs. Schools will need to prioritize playing region games first before playing other opponents. Number two, the schedule is subject to change. While the league is planning to have fall sports in its normal season, Jerome Singleton, the commissioner, says their schedule will allow them to make changes possible, like fall sports being moved to the winter or spring. It is flexible enough. Now, again, it creates some challenges because it could be on top of another sports season. So you got a kid that's a multi-sport athlete, they may have to make a decision between sports. So we can decide when it starts invading another sports season, do we adjust those other sports seasons so we can keep it separated? That's, that's an option. Number three, will fans be allowed to games? Right now that answer would be no due to Governor McMaster's emergency order. If the rule changes, the league plans on letting school districts make their own decision to have fans in the stands. Number four, if a student does online school, will they be considered ineligible? Short answer is no because the league's constitution only requires a student athlete to be a member of the school they are representing. And lastly, number five, will student athletes be required to take coronavirus tests? The league says they don't have a position on it, but some school districts are making requirements or decisions on their own.